So you, we can sit or stand. I think you prefer to stand, right? I'm better if I stand, but okay. you're welcome to sit if you want. And I'm going <laughs> to I'm older. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and, and um, do you prefer to be called ambassador merely or governor merely? You know, it, those are moments. The reason that we got in when we did is I didn't care who else was getting in. I didn't care what other issues were at play. We've got a country to save. And that's all I was thinking about. I am a two-term governor that took a double-digit unemployment state and turned it into an economic powerhouse. I was at the UN. I didn't deal with one country. I dealt with 193. And I took the kick me sign off of our backs. It is time for a new generational leader. It is time for us to leave the baggage of the past, the negativity to the past, and start thinking of our families and the families across America. If you look at all the challenges we have, look at inflation, look at the lack of transparency in education, look at what's happening with crime, look at our border, look at the idea that we had a Chinese spy balloon flying over our country. We deserve better. You deserve better than what we have right now. And I'm determined to make that happen. All right, so the you can't be trustful of a regime that goes in and tries to take away people's freedoms. What we need to understand is that Ukraine has the ability to win, but we have to think bigger than that. And for them to sit there and say that this is a territorial dispute, that's just not the case. To say that we should stay neutral, it is in the best interest of America. It's in the best interest of our national security for Ukraine to win. We have to see this through. We have to finish it. No, I don't trust government to deal with red flag laws. I don't trust that they will that they won't take them away from people who rightfully deserve to have them because you've got someone else judging whether someone should have a gun or not. It is a constitutional right that people can protect and defend themselves. What I want is the feds to do their job. What I want us is to take illegal guns off the street. What I want us to do is deal with mental health the way it deserves to be dealt with. And what I want is for us to have the backs of law enforcement so that they can do their jobs. That's when we'll start to get safety back on our streets again. Here you have a woke company. They've been woke for years. I remember when Disney went after President Trump for immigration. This is nothing new. So here you have DeSantis, who accepted 50,000 in political contributions from Disney. He went and put their executives and their lobbyists on prominent boards throughout Florida. And he went and basically gave the highest corporate subsidies in Florida history to Disney. But because they went and criticized him, now he's going to spend taxpayer dollars on a lawsuit. It's just like all this vendetta stuff, we've been down that road again. We can't go down that. Why is it that you have, you know, kids undergoing critical race theory where if a little girl's in kindergarten, if she goes into kindergarten, if she's white, you're telling her she's bad. If she's brown or black, you're telling her she's never going to be good enough and she's always going to be a victim. All of these things have gone to where they are pushing, you know, and transgender, the whole issue of the transgender, it's not that people don't think in America you should live the way you want to live. I want everybody to live the way they want to live. But stop pushing your views on everybody else. That's the problem, is they're starting to push everything on the rest of us. Okay. So